smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. I want to have a good intro on this channel. You guys need to let me know what kind of intro I can have for this channel. Um, I mean, my nickname is Naughty, so I mean, if you guys know any, you know, cool intros for that, let me know in the description. I might even give away something or, you know, a decal or a banner for someone that can help me out with a good intro. So, uh, let me know down below, guys. Anyways, so today, I have a very, very, very exciting retrofit to install in the E90s. I've been telling you guys that ever since I got my seats, my brown seats in the rear, they fold down, but I have nothing to allow them to fold down. I don't have the seat release, um... Um, handles, levers, whatever you want to call them. So, finally got that in the mail. I ordered the E92 version because there's not much E90s that have these guys. So basically, this is how they look like. They're just a handle you put inside your trunk and then you pull them and should release your, uh, your seats. According to the forums, it's not really an easy thing to do, but it's not a hard thing to do. It just takes a lot of time to do. It just takes a lot of, um, uh. Anyways, so it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time, but um, but the end results should be amazing. I should finally be able to you know fold down my seats if I need to put anything in my trunk that's over you know a, a luggage size. So I'm really excited about this. Without further ado, let me just get my car in the garage so we can start working on this retrofit. Don't let me sleep. Never say you're sorry. So I don't know if you guys have seen from the last video. If you haven't, you should check it out because basically I'll show you guys how I installed the new bumper and the new diffuser and my car is good to go. So basically the alignment, the fitment, everything is great on that. Just needs a new wrap and a little bit of standing on the bumper. Then other than that, I mean everything else should be good. But now I'm gonna empty out the trunk because it looks like a filthy mess and I never really do it. It's not that filthy, I mean there's like five things in there. But I mean, I wanna get everything out. Uh, I'll probably even clean up the truck while I'm at it in this video. And then um, try to install the handles that you're supposed to be putting over here. So when you pull it, um, your rear seats will actually fold down. So it's gonna be really, really dope if I can get this to work. I did hear they have to fold on the seat to work right underneath the speakers. Um, so I mean, let's hope we can do it. If we can do it, if not, we're still gonna go at it. All right guys, so I'm gonna have to go down there and actually manually release the trunk. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that over here. Basically, this is how it looks in every single car, but what mine doesn't have is this cable sticking out of it, coming all the way to this thing, so I could just, you know, easily take it apart. Anyway, so I'm gonna go inside the car and pretty much just manually pop this out. And when I manually pop this out, it's gonna release the, the rear seats. So I'm gonna do that, and then, uh, so at least that will give me more access to all this stuff so I can actually equip it. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. This is the funnest part. I really love doing this. This is exactly why I bought the stupid, oh God, trunk release thingy McBobber. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's two bolts down there. That's the only two bolts I'm trying to get out right now. I'll get back to you guys when I have to get that out, and that whole piece should just come right on out. All right, guys, so I got this piece out of the car. This part, you know, is pretty easy to get out. We just got two screws in the bottom, but now we're trying to figure out how to reroute the other one so we can actually pull the lever. So what I saw here um, is that there is a hole back here that leads to this right I don't know if you guys can see that there's a hole right there that's where the wire goes through and then you just um, you pretty much you put the other new trunk release right here so I'm gonna disconnect the lever um, the cable from the trunk release and then I'm just gonna let it guide all the way through and then rehook it up I'll show you guys the process of it um, in a second all right guys so once you disconnect these two from each other this is like the new set that you get I'm gonna go ahead and mount this to the top and reroute the wire so I can just go ahead and put this back inside all right guys, so I got the, the handle installed. It's not really 100% secure yet because I don't have the right screws, but I have some screws in there to hold it. The wire goes through there, and when you put it in there, it kind of just directs itself inside the cabin. And once you're in the cabin, you wanna go ahead and connect it to this. You'll, you'll see when it comes all one piece when you order it, and then that just goes in with two bolts. So it's really easy, you don't need to remove any of this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the seats and see if it actually works. I'm gonna let my brother actually put up the seats. Well, the seats are clicked in now, let's see if it works. Bam, I'm actually so happy, there you go. Now the seats fold down, that easy. So I don't have to get my whole body in the trunk and use a screwdriver to pop it out now. This is so much more convenient. All right guys, so I got the seat folding uh, lever installed. Really happy how it turned out, it ended up working. I do need to pick up two screws from a local you know, parts store when I get there. Um, but other than that, I mean it works. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other one in another day. Or right, it's really easy guys. You don't have to unplug anything really. Just make sure you fold down the seats using a screwdriver. You just install the new release lever and that's pretty much that's it. So I mean it's really easy guys. It's a very simple install. Um, but of course you need the foldable seats. I 
I ended up buying foldable seats and you just need the switch. It's not that hard. I thought it was going to be hard. It's something that's not possible, but BMW kind of, you know, has everything already outlined for you. You just need to take advantage of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button for the, for the trunk release. If you guys are looking forward to more retro fits, maybe even the paddle shifters, let me know down in the description. And uh, yeah, remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're all